another entertainment tv today is the 23rd of march uh, 2023 remember guys to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that we miss any of our new uploads that you do upload here so guys uh the march anticipated as an appeal of primary elections that were postponed last week will not be held at this saturday with an array of candidates including those who are once in the opposition set to contest the primary elections were scheduled for march 18 but were later po- uh, postponed as the party was overwhelmed with a large number of candidates who wanted to represent it in the forthcoming general elections a total of 2858 uh, cvs were submitted with 99.9 percent of the aspiring candidates making it through the vetting process midlands province alone a total of 1429 cvs while blayo is the lowest with 85 cvs submitted a number of candidates in the midlands province sold through uncontested party sales are registered will be used as the voters room while party district centers will be used as voting centers the party has already deployed Politburo members who will announce the names of successful candidates and monitor the election process in all the country's 10 provinces. Those deployed are Comrade Eliphas Mashaba Blawayo, Charles Tavengwa Arari, Love Moma Tuke Mashingo, Patrick Chinamasa Manikalind, Kenneth Musani, Marshallland Central, Mike Bima, Marshallland East, Christopher Mchangwa, Marsh West Obin Bofu, Matt North Richard Mlovu, Matt Blend South Simbarashi Mbembegui, Midlands Province, Addressing journalists in Arara yesterday, ZNPF National Political Commissar Comrade Bima said polling would start at 7 a.m. and close at 4 p.m. President Nangagwa, who is the party's first secretary, has directed that ZNPF primary elections to uh, be held on March 25, 2023. Comrade Bima said names of successful candidates who will contest in the primaries will be announced in their provinces by designated political members. Comrade Bima said the Politburo members would also give details of how the entire process would be conducted in terms of deployment of presiding officers, ballot boxes, ballot papers, and the counting and displaying of the results. The Politburo said on Monday and went through all the reports province by province and one by one. Former opposition party members who are contesting for National Assembly slots are Comrades Tongai Matutu and Simon Chidakwa, among others. What is also of interest is that a decision was made by the Politburo to accept and recommend former members of the MDC or the Triple C who have recently come forward as returnees to the party, said Comrade Bima. The decision was made by the Politburo that any former MDC or a Triple C member willing to contest in the primary elections for a local authority position in the House of Assembly are free to do so. However, at the moment, it was felt that it is too early to allow them to contest as the natural level. Among those disqualified was another provincial commissar, Comrade Gulakwashe Damson, who allegedly beat up Zimbabwe Electoral Commission officials who were on duty conducting voter education in airport recently. Yesterday, all provinces held provincial coordinating committee meetings where senior political members from the respective provinces announced the names of all candidates who have been successfully towards participating in primary elections. There will be various levels of authority to conduct these elections. There is a constituency command center, administrative district command center, provincial command center, a national command center based at the party headquarters. As elections are being conducted, normally we also have hitches and here and there. We also have people who have complaints and there will be an ad hoc tribunal to receive these complaints. So whoever feels that they have been treated unfairly has every right to lodge a complaint and they will be attended to well before the results are announced, Comrade Bima said. The result of the elections will be displayed at the polling stations and also conveyed to the administrative district command center, provincial command center, a national command center. It is only the national command center which will announce the official results. The party has already said 87,000 cells that have been verified, reaching a total of 0.5 million uh, voters. NPF has set a target of 5 million votes for the 2023 harmonized elections. So guys, we'll be keeping you guys up to date with the latest here on Daily News, Breaking News, Everyday News on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Yes, Saturday, uh, the uh, 25th of March, uh, 2023, ZANU-PF primaries, Mashenga Machu Votera, Makani Denza Wanango Wachida, and Gapati Kune Dungo Jumbo, Tungonzi, Nyae Valenza, Jotanga Gudala, Wanu Machuru Wana Pate Zove. And those candidates need to be disqualified for you because can I even put the job at Chiruavega, our board with the other political party?
We'll be keeping you up to date with latest here, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Bless up.